years old. And coming next, this lovely lady here, this is Katie. And Katie is a sulfur crested cockatoo. Cockatoos can be found in Australia and in certain parts of Indonesia. Oh, and guess what? Sulfur crested cockatoo is got the name sulfur because of the yellow color on top of their heads, okay? Now, parrots, they meet for life and make devoted parents. So they take advantage of abandoned tree cavities or tree hollows just like this to build their nests. And materials, we will try these. We got tree box as well as sticks and um, branches that they will put inside this hollow nest tree. Okay, let's watch how we do this. Ready? Alright. If you are wondering what's happening inside, let's watch this. Oh, look at that, that's Higgins right there. Very cute, right? And we have Katie. Katie, where is this thing? Katie's there. Look at that. Oh, there you go. And there you go. Can we give it up for Katie and Higgins? Is that your voice? No. It's funny. Wait a second. There's a rooster in this bush. Oh, man. That's the rooster. See, see, see. No, 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 Sharia. That's a rooster. No, 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 Lee. Please. Okay, Amazonas. Okay, Sharia, listen, okay? Alright, now turn around, Quincy. How do you do the rooster? <laughs> See? I told you, right? Okay, okay, you win, you win. Go, go, go. Now, everyone, by the way, this right here is Quincy and Amigo, and they are masters of mimicry. So, before Quincy here mimic some sounds, Quincy, can you welcome our guests? Did you catch what he said? He said, Welcome to Parrot Paradise. Let's hear this one more time. You ready, Quincy? There you go. Welcome to Parrot Paradise. Good job. Now, you heard Quincy mimic the booster earlier. This time, he's going to do a cat. will copy the sounds and the calls made by their family out there in the forest, okay? By Quincy copying human sound. Hey, they're just doing what other parents do in the wild. Right, Lynn? Yes, that's right. So in our case, Quincy and Amigo's family are the Monday star. Yeah, you got that right. Okay, now let's see what our buddy here can do, okay? Hello there. Okay, do you want to say hello? Hello. <laughs> Okay, now, tell everybody here what's your name? Amigo! Huh? What's your name? Amigo! Amigo! Amigo is his name! Okay, Amigo, what do you want to say to all these nice people? How are you? Oh, just... <laughs> they just love you so much! Okay, Amigo loves to sing. His favorite song is a birthday song. Who's birthday today? Put your hands up! One shy person there. Anybody here? Oh, another shy one. Oh, another person that comes through with a guy. Any more? The young kid. Three and four. Why like that? <laughs> this time. <laughs> For the four of you, Amigo will sing you about this song.
can't see into the forest by the gigantic blue right over there. Okay, I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be Oh. And there you go. Thank you very much, Kellogg's, for sponsoring the Mates of the World. Good job, Elko. Right now, we are about to meet one of Singapore's most iconic species. Who are we talking about? The Oriental Pythonbill. Well, everyone in Pasa, we have Olivia and Oriental Pythonbill. Now, Olivia here has a heartwarming story. She fell out of the nest as a chick and hurt her spine. Now, in the wild, Olivia would have not survived. Each day, now, Hornbills have three toes in front and broad soles. Two cans have only two toes in front and two toes at the back. But, both birds, they are great hoppers. It gives them the strength and stability to jump up and down perches. Okay, now, Lynn, um, what else can we talk about these birds? Hans, I remember this. Now, Hornbills, they have a shorter tongue. Uh, both birds use their tongues to toss food into their mouth, okay? So everyone, let's check this out for Olivia, uh, for Elko first, sorry. Oh, okay, now let's check this out for Olivia. Let's kill three. One, two, three. Up, up. Hello, way! Good job. One more time, let's give it up for Elko and Olivia. Thank you. A great part of our fields. Happens to be one of the largest species of hornbills found in the Southeast Asian region. In one of the places in Indonesia where it can be found, some tribesmen believe that if a hornbill flies over the village, you are being blessed. And in a very short moment, Vicky will fly over to check out and next to you. Ready, Vicky? Let's go. Female hornbills are very fussy about her accommodation. It has got to be spacious and must have a chimney so she can escape if she needs to. Well, that's the reason why as a birder I love being here because Mandai supports the protection of critically endangered animals. As a birder, let me tell you this. It's nice to see them in the natural habitat or right here in the wildlife parks where they get the best care possible. Well, speaking of best care, hello everyone! I'm Emily from Bird Paradise. My team and I work hard to keep our birds happy, engaged and enriched. In fact, some beautiful corners will be landing on the enrichment device shortly. So if you're ready, keep your eyes right back there. Here they come! a rope tied into knots and we have hidden some treats for the birds to forage. This actually brings up the birds' natural behaviours. Corneas can be found in South Africa, or South America pardon me. Once widespread, they are now endangered. It is a sad fact that there are now more corneas in people's homes than in the wild. But just like other parrots, corneas are meant to be sociable birds and not meant to be alone. So please do not buy or keep these birds as pets. I think they have done a wonderful job. We have one more on the enrichment device. Who's that? Ash. Oh, Ash, your friends have already gone back home. Yeah, they went that way. <laughs> okay, usually when one goes, the rest will follow. Uh, in this case, Ash will follow. <laughs> Let's give him a big hand!
Centers on wings at 2.30 p.m. where you can catch eagles, vultures and hawks in action. Thank you so much for being here and have a nice day.